Roger, the guys were all over that race today. Yeah, no, it's it. I mean, for our first race back in the UK, it's pretty, yeah, pretty pleased. I mean, yeah. we had a plan. You, you know, like we can only we can only um, kind of control what we we yeah. can control our own events. Um, mm. We can't control who goes with us. I mean, fair play, we've always had a good start to the year. He's had some good results, so he got himself in the right place at the right time, and they they won. I mean, that's 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 how it is. I mean, uh, were we in the bike race? Were we in control? Yeah. I think so, and, and you know, it's a bit. I think um, from our point of view, it would have been nicer to have had a bit, bit more of a, a, a difficult race, but it, it wasn't to be. So um, you know, let's move on to the next one. Carry on. Yeah. Well, you had some guys there. I mean, Matt Holmes, both Connor and Matt, did really well at Volta Limburg, which was a really tough race. Yeah. Showed how good, for, good their form was. Yeah, but it's a different style of racing, and that's and that's oh. the difference here. Is you know, we're there, you're following difficult moves, and you get drawn out right to the finish. Whereas here, it's sort of you know, stop, start, stop, start, creating those moves. So it's just a different style of racing. So um, you know, we just take a couple of a little bit to settle in, and and yeah, we did, did uh, yeah, just how, how the events unfold. It's not a lot you can do with it, really. What next, Lover Shire? Um, we're doing Loire Share and yeah. Trovo Leon because there's nothing on in the UK, yeah. and then um, yeah, there's a bit of a gap, and then we're back to Yorkshire, obviously, uh, Rutland, Yorkshire, and then another gap. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, Trovo I don't know, a bigger version of the Cicla, although I'm yeah. sure Paul doesn't <laughs> Well, that's it, we've got two of them in a row Cicla Classic and then uh, mm. Trovo Cicla Classic, so two, two off road events in, in a row, so yeah. It's, yeah, it's good for us. You know, good, fun events for us to do as well. So, yeah. And how do, you, what, how do you view those events? I mean, you know, you, you like the cobbles, you did a lot well on the cobbles and all that. Yeah, no, they're different. different, they're, not, different. they're not really cobbles, they're, no. they're different. They're different racing, but I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're more like Strada Bianchi type of thing. Mm. But I mean, I like Strada Bianchi equally yeah. much. Um, yeah. So I mean, they're good. They're, I mean, they just mix it up a little bit. I mean, any any race that makes it difficult, you know, rather than just on the side of a mountain, because um, there's only a certain number of riders in the world can win on a mountain, the rest, you know, you have to struggle for the other events that you can split it up and one of them is with the wind and one of them is with uh, with you know difficult road sites like yeah, yeah. uh Trobro and Paris Bay. Finally, speaking of Paris Bay, yeah. what are your what are your fondest memories? I know fourth there, but I mean what what are your fond, fondest memories of that? Um because uh, yeah. it's a you know, you see these these guys come out they're, they're covered in mud, they're covered in they're covered in blood. I yeah. mean Yeah. What's the attraction? Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't know really. Just <laughs> Just, uh, but it comes back to that thing is that you know you, you if you're not a climber you have to find something that you can execute on and, and yeah. the bay was one where you know I could execute there was nothing there was nothing in that race that I couldn't do with the best mm. so mm. that oh I felt that anyway so yeah. you know that's why well, I liked you proved it, it. Yeah. so um, you know on my day I could be competitive didn't matter what what where you know there's, I'm never going to be competitive in outdoors and I'm never mm. going to be competitive in a 40k time trial so yeah. you know it's just one of the ones that, you know you always favour the events that you're good at and, mm. and so that's uh, that's why yeah. cobbles then finally yeah what's the secret to going fast over cobbles because you look at the, you look at the pictures I don't know if you look at the pictures you think how did we ever ride over those big stones yeah I, I think it's concentration I mean it's learning to concentrate that's why cyclocross mm. riders and the people that have a, a cross background are good because mm. they're always you know now even when I go out for a ride with my kids um, mm. you know I find myself teaching Luke who's four to choose the right the right lines off road yeah yeah and you know, now he's at four years old he's choosing you know yesterday I was so proud of him two days mm. ago sorry I went out for a ride I was so proud of him because he chose the right line around the mud through the you know the tricky bit yeah and, um, and, and that's what Roubaix's like is just choosing the right cobbles and being and con staying concentrated that's I don't, I don't think people realize that mentally it's more tough than, mm. than physically because you just cannot yeah. sit up you cannot relax for one second so we're going to see that little one in uh, <laughs> in a few years time in cross yeah, yeah they've already done some races actually <laughs> yeah they've done two Eva and Luke have done two cross races each already so they've yeah. already started yeah, yeah.